York to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. boys and girls, it's Ebro, Laura Rosenberg. We have a guest today coming to us from the city of New Jersey, Jersey City. His name, Mayor Stephen Fulop. What's going on, Mayor? Hey, Mayor how Steve. are you, Ebro? It's good to be here Mayor today. Steve. Now, Mayor Steve reached out to uh, me the other day and said, hey, I want to do something awesome. Can Summer Jam and Hot 97 support it? You have a big uh, press conference. I believe it's happening today in, in just a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's actually tomorrow. And, uh, you know, oh, we're really excited. Yeah, we're, we're, try, we're trying to, you know, improve teenage vaccination rates. It's kind of the number one priority for us in a place that most cities have struggled. Now, but now um, I think across the nation, people are – it's 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 hard for parents, I think, with teenagers getting vaccinated, especially the little kids getting vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what have you seen in in your uh, city, Jersey City, the one you're responsible for with vaccination rates in general and with the youth? What's yeah. going on so, right now? So we're now close to 80 percent on the general population, uh, eligible population with uh, getting at least one shot of the vaccine, which is great. We're well above the national average in most cities in New Jersey and the New York area. Uh, when you talk about eligible teenagers, so those are people that can get it, uh, we drop below 50%, close to 46%, 45%. So um, it's a challenge. And if you're going to get schools to be reopened, you need to get teachers comfortable and other students comfortable. And part of that is encouraging people to get the vaccine. Um, are you hearing from teachers unions and people who, you know, because September comes around, it's time to get back yeah. into classrooms. Everybody's headed in that direction. Um, is that one of the big concerns for the teachers and the teachers union is that you want to make sure that teachers are safe from getting, uh, yeah. the, the COVID from the variants from kids. Yeah, I, I think that's fair to say. Um, you know, look, you, you've spoken a lot about education in Jersey City schools along the years. And, and hey, hey, stop bringing up old <laughs> stuff. Shout out to the teachers, man. Y'all did a great yeah. job during the pandemic. They, they do. But, I, you know, look, I think I think we got to make sure that uh, a classroom setting is safe and there's no reason why we can't reopen. So um, that's why we're looking to partner with Summer Jam and Hot 97 and, and meet the kids where they're at. So we're taking a little bit of a different approach than let's say uh, other cities across the country that might try to incentivize teenagers with a slice of pizza, which isn't really gonna move people. You know, you gotta meet the kids where they're at and that's why we're trying a little bit of a different approach here. So uh, this is a major announcement. You heard him right there. Now what's the, run down the whole play here. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm giving you this layup, Mayor right, Phillips. So, so you I get to run that. the whole thing here, go. Yeah, so, so basically, I mean, we have one of the larger school districts in New Jersey, uh, more than 30,000 kids. We have uh, nine public high schools. And what we're going to be doing is creating a competition amongst all the high schools that the school with the highest vaccination rate, the entire school will be taken to Summer Jam. So we'll give them free Woo. tickets. And uh, we're trying to create positive peer pressure, you know, kids you know, with things they care about to encourage them to get vaccinated. And and we think that, you know, it's a better approach than saying, hey, uh, you know, here's, a, like I said, a slice of pizza, come get vaccinated. And, you know, we're going to throw an added layer on that because we know it's a family affair. So we're going to give a $50 food voucher to ShopRite to the parents because we know that the parents have to be part of the conversation with teenagers get vaccinated. So there's a real incentive for kids to get vaccinated here in Jersey City. It's going to be a, a two-week competition. And uh, hopefully we'll get, you know, more than, you know, a couple thousand kids vaccinated, to say the least. Uh, so now what are you hearing? First of all, bravo, salute. I like it. Um, but what are you hearing from families or people who are hesitant to get vaccines? What are the questions no. and what do you think some of the holdup is, if any? Is yeah, I mean, is it safe for kids? Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there on social media. Um, you know, how will this impact my child long term, short term? Uh, what's approved? What's not approved? Uh, what's necessary? What's the process? You know, so we hear all that stuff, very similar to the adult conversations. And, and a lot of it is misinformation that people are just getting fed on social media. So um, we, we want to we try and encourage people and meet them where they're at on things that motivate them. And you know, the only way we're gonna kind of get through this next variant is uh, if we get more people vaccinated so it doesn't mutate again. Mayor uh, Fulop, um, now vaccination, uh, I think, Laura, were you just telling me that here in New York City, they were saying something about vaccines for kids of school age? I think it's going to be available. That's what we were discussing behind the scenes. It wasn't me, but I, I, I think it was maybe our producer that that said it, but yeah, I think vaccines of school age are, are will be available. 
So it's going to be interesting because I, I hear the same hesitation, uh, Mayor, on our side. But I feel like yeah. the more we talk about it, the more we educate people. I think people are starting to understand that, you know, the difference between real information and social media BS. <laughs> social yeah. media BS is a big <laughs> problem, I that's Laura, right. I, I think, yeah, it, and, and one of the key things about kind of the high schoolers get vaccinated, those are the ones that are eligible, is they're often around y younger siblings and others in their family that don't have the option to get vaccinated. So it's important those people are safe. And uh, like I said, it's a family affair. So we're just trying to motivate people with, uh, you know, positive peer pressure to actually move the needle here. Teenagers being able to get vaxxed is relatively new, correct? That's like in the last eight to 12 weeks, correct? Yeah, it's it's relatively new. So so um, it's been an encouragement, let's say, in the last two months. I think that's kind of accurate to say two, three months where uh, they've been pushing that. And now we're you know, we're bumping up against school reopening. So uh, it's a big concern for us when you look at we're at 46 percent. I'm sure New York City is exactly in the same situation that we're at, where there's a big drop off between adults versus teenagers. Um, now, as far as mandatory vaccines, mask mandates and those sort of things, that happens at the state level or can a mayor of a city make these calls as well? Yeah, we, we can do it at the uh, local level. But, you know, we, we've been hesitant to kind of put, you know, mandatory uh, mask wearing back in place here because we know the sentiment and we know our vaccine rate and we're just waiting for more guidance from the governor uh, to see what he does statewide to have some consistency across the entire state here. So um, we're watching the data really closely. Um, thankfully, we're doing better than places like Florida, uh, where you see the really increasing and more and more, uh, you know, urging to put vaccine, I mean, uh, mask mandates, but uh, we've been reluctant here. For our city hall employees, if you compare it to New York City, we haven't put mandates on. What we've tried to do is uh, keep the policy in place that if you're unvaccinated, you have to wear a mask. And uh, those are the rules of the workplace. Do you, uh, as a public servant, do you see a, a day, you know, because people obviously want to scare everybody. Do you see a day where a mandatory vaccine is a thing, a mandatory COVID vaccine, excuse me, is a, is a thing? I mean, look, I, I mean, we, we might head there if the CDC says that that's where we need to go. But, um, you know, on the Jersey City front, uh, you're not going to see us pushing uh, mandates. I, I think positive peer pressure and positive encouragement is really the way to go um, and getting people access to the right information so they can make informed decisions. And, and, and ultimately, that's how you're going to change the course of action there. When you force people to do anything and you push mandates there, the pushback is pretty fierce. And, and it doesn't necessarily bring the outcome that you're looking for. So, um, you know, as the mayor of Jersey City, we're going to do our best to create kind of positive peer pressure. And that's what we're trying to do here, working with you guys in Summer Jam and, and trying to kind of create that traction that's necessary. Yo, this guy's good, isn't he? Positive peer he pressure. He knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mandating things causes pushback. You don't get the result that you want. You think people are taking notes from you, Mayor? Because this this isn't what we're hearing nationwide. There's people going through a lot more and getting uh, really spun out of control on this. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think uh, that we're in scary times. And uh, I think it's going to be really all of us working together to get through this. But, um, you know, creating government rules is not always the solution here. So we, we, ha we have an opportunity to really educate people properly. We know where the misinformation is coming from. So we just need to get to people the right information and then have them understand how it personally impacts their loved ones. And people will make the proper decisions when they get the facts around that. So um, everybody has family, everybody has people they care about, and uh, there should be no regrets through this process if they have access to information. Mayor Stephen Fulop has linked up with Hot 97 and Summer Jam. You can get yourself some Summer Jam tickets, but you have to make sure you're vaccinated uh, and a high school student in uh, the Jersey City School District. Correct, Mayor? That is correct. And if your school gets vaccinated at the higher percentage, you, your friends, your entire school will be taken to Summer Jam, courtesy City of Jersey City. Now, what's the largest school? In, your, in, in high school in the district? I mean, we got a couple schools that are pushing thousand plus easy, you know. A uh, we thousand have, tickets? Well, yeah, we're going to be more than a no, thousand tickets here. No, who'd you hook up with a hot nine seven to get a thousand <laughs> yeah, tickets? I, 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 I don't know, you bro. I don't know, you bro. You know, Yo, but, son, you got the inside <laughs> tracks, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, Yo. I, 
I, I could say on behalf of all the people that live here that we're really appreciative for you and the entire team for uh, your willingness to kind of push the narrative on teenage vaccination importance and uh, being willing to be partners with us. You guys have been terrific and uh, we're really thankful. And hopefully it sets, sends a message and sets the bar for you know what's possible for the entire country when people work together to kind of move the needle on this front. His name, Stephen J. Fulop. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, man. You wrote, take it easy. Yeah.